everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. If it's your first time here, we like to dabble in body positive fitness and yoga and a whole lot of body love. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. I have some great stuff for you. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate that you are here. In this 10 minute practice today, let me go ahead and set, set my timer because I am really bad at sticking to 10 minutes but this is my goal today. So this is a quick 10 minute pick me up. I call it the gift of 10 minutes. Uh, a practice I learned when I was an Anasara teacher, like sometimes you don't have an hour, sometimes you don't have half an hour, sometimes you only have 10 minutes. So this is a hands-free, knees-free practice that you can do in 10 minutes. So if you're at your office and you need to stand up or you can't be on the floor, this is a really great practice. I'm staying off my knees today because I hurt my knees. Uh, doing some uh, running, I fell down and hurt my knees and hurt my elbow. So I want to give um, my body a little bit of a break, but I still want to stretch out my hips. So we are going to start at the top of our mat. I'm going to grab a couple of blocks just for balance. I have positioned myself in a corner just because there'll be some balance stuff and my balance is a little bit wonky. So let's start our 10 minutes now by coming to the top of our mat. Feet are about two fists width apart. Go ahead and curl the shoulder blades onto your back, palms turn forward. And just take a few moments to be in your body and be in your breath. So rooting down and wide into the feet, lifting the heart, being in your breath. So let's inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky, lace the fingertips together, push the heels of the hands upward as you root down through the feet. And now on the exhale, let's bring our hands to our waist and take a giant step back with that right foot. We're not lowering the knee down today. Curling the shoulder blades onto the back, inhale, sweep up. And now exhale, bring the elbows out wide and lift the heart. And now as you are here, sink into the pose. You can also bend into that right knee a little bit more, squeeze the shoulder blades onto the back, and then lower the torso parallel to the floor and reach the arms back behind you. Beautiful, breathe here. From here, you can hook your right elbow behind your left knee and bring your palms together and take a twist, or you can keep the twist open by reaching that right hand forward, left arm back, bend into the knee. Beautiful, inhale, sweep both arms back up to the sky. Exhale, step to the top of your mat and shake your legs up if they feel a little tense. Curl your palms, shoulder blades onto your back and you turn your palms forward. Chin is parallel to the floor. Inhale, let's sweep the arms all the way up. Exhale, let's sweep the arms wide, lace the fingertips behind the low back, open the chest, look up, lengthen. And then on the exhale, let's bend at the knees, rest the thumbs on the low back and fold forward. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, come up into chair, reach all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the waist, and take a giant step back with the left foot now. Stay up onto the toes if it feels good to do so. Squeeze the shoulder blades onto the back, bring the elbows out wide into a T, and lift the gaze up toward the sky. Pausing here for a minute, a little bit of a back bend. From here, reach your arms high to the sky, and you now can bring your left arm forward, right arm back, or hook, left elbow behind, right knee and take your prayer. So this is a little bit of balance here. We talked about moving balance. And now inhale, straighten the arms out. See if you can sweep all the way up back to your lunge pose and then bring your hands to your waist and step your feet together at the top of your mat. Inhale, reach up. We're gonna add on to this. Exhale, fold. Reach the arms behind you and now step back with that right foot. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades onto the back. Reach all the way up. Exhale, sweep the arms wide, lace the fingertips behind the low back, bow to the inside of the knee. Good, find your breath here. And now inhale, here's where we're gonna play with a little bit of balance. Bring your hands to your waist, push off with that right foot and see if your left knee, or your right knee can come up and cross over into a standing pigeon pose. Ooh, I like that today. Working on the hips, you'll notice I'm using the wall for balance, which is why I always choose the corner when I practice. Inhale, come up, plant both feet, shake it out. Nice job, everybody. Inhale, reach. Exhale, fold, reach the arms back behind you. 
Hold here, and now step the left foot back. Inhale, sweep the arms up, lunge, open twist, close twist, pick your twist, find your breaks, find your practice, breathe. Inhale, this is where we balance. Come all the way up. Here's where we're gonna get a little crazy with it. Step that foot forward, cross over, standing pigeon. Ooh. <laughs> Again, this is why I choose the, the wall or a corner to practice. And then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, plant both feet. One more time through that. Inhale, reach the arms high to the sky. Exhale, fold at the waist, reach the arms back behind you. Holding here, step back with your right foot. Inhale, sweep up, lunge. Open twist is right arm forward, left arm back. Close twist is hook the right elbow behind the left knee. Use what you have here. Beautiful, here's the balance. Come back through center, inhale, reach up. Push off with that back leg, see if you can cross it over. Ooh, standing pigeon. Now, from here, we're gonna move into a warrior three pose. Uncross the legs, bring the arm back behind you. Now, I'm gonna take my fingertips. You see, I'm just taking my fingertips to the blocks, so there's no weight in my hands. I'm just centering myself up here. And now, step back into a warrior one or lunge pose. Sweep the arms high to the sky. Bring your hands through heart center, and then straighten out through that front leg, straighten out through that back leg. Come into a pyramid pose. And once again, I'm not putting any weight into my hands. Your fingertips can touch or rest or you can reach back. No hand stuff, no pushing into the hands. Pushing into the legs though. And step your feet together as you lift your heart toward the top of your mat. Shake everything out. Take a deep breath in. Turn the palms forward. Take a few minutes. We're gonna do the second side. Inhale, sweep all the way up to the sky. Exhale, fold, reach the arms straight back behind you. Good, from here, step back with your left foot. Stay here, inhale, sweep the arms high to the sky. Open twist, close twist, open twist, close twist. So find that twist for yourself. Here's where we're working the balance. Now we're gonna sweep the arms all the way up and push off with that back leg. I'll take a couple steps here and then cross over. Woo, breathe. From here, let's try coming into a warrior three pose. Remember, no weight in the hands, so, but you can use the blocks just to orient yourself. And then step back into a warrior one pose, arms up. Good, and bring your hands to your waist and step forward onto the top of your mat. Shake everything out and notice how you feel. Let's make our way to the center of our mat for a couple of balance poses here. So take a moment to step in the center of your mat. Root down through your right foot. I'm gonna use the wall behind me for my next pose. Curling the shoulder blades onto your back. Bring your heel towards your buttocks and reach your arms to the sky. So that's one option. You can lean forward and if you have the wall behind you, you can plant your foot on the wall, bend your knee, inhale, reach up into a version of dance or pose if it feels good. Good, and now, bringing my ends out wide, finding my balance, I'm gonna cross my left ankle over my right. Squeezing my thighs together, I'm gonna hook my right elbow underneath my left, or bring my palms to my shoulders for my version of eagle. Good, now let's inhale, arms out wide, reach up, step our feet together. Take a few moments to breathe. One more breath. Root down through that left foot. And now bring the right heel to the buttocks. If you want, if you have a wall behind you, you can use the wall behind you. Bring your palms together, your version of dance or pose using the wall. Breathe. Ooh, this is where I lose my balance. Arms out wide to catch your balance. Breathe, and then cross right ankle over left. And now, left arm under right, or rest your hands on your shoulders. Squeeze your thighs together and sit back. Beautiful, inhale, 
Bring your arms out wide, step your feet wide, shake everything out. Take a moment to breathe. And now let's come back to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Feet about two fist width apart, turning the palms forward, squeezing the shoulder blades together, chin parallel to the floor. Notice your breath. Notice how you feel. From here, if you can descend to the floor without putting weight in your hands and your feet, go ahead. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Hands, or I should say hands or knees, not hands or feet. So I'm gonna bring my meditation cushion in closer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross my bottom, my leg behind me, and I'm just gonna tap my fingertips down to make my way to the floor. So now I'm in seated. I'm going to bring my hands to my chest. Hands at prayer in front of the heart. You can come down to the floor or remain standing if that makes more sense for you. And then take a few minutes, moments to breathe. And that's our practice. If you want to lay down and take a quick shavasana, you can. If you want to sit for a couple of minutes of meditation, you can. If you want to take, if you have to get on with your day, feel free to get up and move on. But this is just a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of self-care, a little bit of practice. And as always, come as you are, use what you have, do what you can. Thank you, everyone.